In this episode, I finally finished the bathroom. I've been working on it since I don't even know when. I've had a bit of unsmooth sailing lately, to say the least. All kinds of stuff, big and small, just hasn't gone my way. But before we move on to what I've been up to for the past weeks, let's just do a little throwback, just to see what the bathroom looked like from the beginning. I'm really looking forward to be able to clean this place because when I've been doing the bathroom I've had stuff everywhere, there's like dust everywhere uh, from sanding and whatnot. And I thought in order to be able to do that I would need to begin doing this wall so that is done and um, then I don't think I'm going to do any more sanding down here. Uh, and I was also thinking that whilst I'm making a mess down here, I might as well begin with the door for the bathroom. Um, I don't want to sand it outside because I think it's painted with like a plastic colour. Uh, so I'm just going to sand it in here and just let everything turn into a mess. And then when all of this is done, I can properly clean everything. I've been sanding and realizing that uh, there's no point in sanding something that's not going to be there because the glass is going to be there uh, for the most part. So now I'm just going to decide where to put the glass. Thank you. 
I made a little miscalculation when I was at the hardware store. Um, I simply bought too little um, of this wood. And so I thought I could like puzzle, puzzle it together with some leftovers that I had from uh, the wash stand. And um, now I measured wrong again. Uh, I really often like work late in the evenings because that's kind of the time that I have in the weekdays. I have a regular job as well. I notice I'm so tired when I'm trying to do this in the evening that like most of the time uh yeah things just go wrong basically so um yeah measuring when tired not good not good here i've got a little gap going <laughs> <laughs> yet so yeah I'm also gonna put like a f uh, like a film on here to make it like a little blurry or whatever so you can't actually see into the toilet but you still get light in there um, yeah I think that'll have to be tomorrow because now I'm pretty tired Next after work uh, evening that I'm trying to get something done. Yeah, I just noticed that um, what I did yesterday wasn't super successful, unfortunately. I'll, uh, I'll show you, but yeah, for some reason there is a bunch of bubbles um, behind this like frosted plastic stuff. I shouldn't have gone with the plastic. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I followed the instructions, but still it didn't quite work out. Uh, so now I'm considering like a spray paint instead maybe, um, because yeah, I'm just not keen on trying to work with this plastic stuff again. Um, yeah, I'm taking a little break from the door because like, yeah. Um, I have some people coming tomorrow helping me to install uh, water pipes. So then I thought it might be good if the wash stand is finished because the piping is going to have to go through the wash stand somehow. Something I'll discuss with them. Um, so yeah, now I'm just going to do that instead. Making a little solution for the drawer. I'm putting in this rail and I need to add a little distance because otherwise it won't be aligned with the width of the drawer. And it's not going to be the prettiest solution, but it's going to be a solution and I think it's going to work. I hope so, at least.
these little pieces that I'm attaching to the sides uh, are also leftovers from the legs. So happy I didn't put them in the wood stove. I'm getting a delivery of firewood anytime soon. Uh, so I'm just going out to prepare a little bit. It started to snow today and I'm really low on firewood, so it feels like the timing for this is great. And uh, yeah, I hope he arrives soon. I got this hat for my mom and uh, I'm really happy about it because now I can be outside and still see what I'm doing. firewood guy hasn't arrived yet, I'm starting to get a little bit worried that he's not going to show up, which is a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, hoping he's going to come. I mean, it is quite snowy, so maybe it's taking some time to get here or something. I talked about another thing in my previous video, which was like attaching the legs so that the shelf is held in place. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's, yeah, it was uh, pretty hard to attach. So I've just decided I'm gonna put in uh, one of these at the bottom to just like hold it in place. A little bit annoying. Because I wanted to keep it clean, but um, ah, whatever. Um, it's early morning. I'm gonna try to see if I can attach this uh, drawer now. Um, preferably before they come to install the water because then I can put this in place. So we'll see if I can make that. That was a bit harder than I thought. Um, there is probably some logic here that I'm not getting. but. Um, Anyway, like this is the little thing that makes it not work uh, because I cannot screw it from the outside uh, because then it sticks up too much and this won't, yeah, it hits the rail. Uh, so according to the instructions it says to screw it from the inside, um, but then 
it seems really unstable. Uh, so first I thought maybe I can just like remove this little thing. And now instead I thought I might as well just drill my own hole. Because if the hole is just like a regular hole, it actually works. So there is one like them in the other end. I don't really, I don't understand this, but then it works. So I'm just gonna make my own hole in it. I did finish the wash stand just in time, and then things just didn't quite go to plan. It's a long story, but there was a problem with the pipes, and after some pretty stressful decisions, they had to be replaced. But the protective pipe got broken in the process. I have a pipe-in-pipe -pipe system. The plumber that I had hired didn't seem to think that it was such a big deal. But to me, it didn't feel quite right. On the positive end of things, they managed to get the radiator in the kitchen going, which was kind of a nice bonus in the midst of it all. Nice excuse to just get out for a little bit early in the morning. I'm thinking a bit about yesterday and um, now that I've gotten some sleep I feel like okay it's not the end of the world to have to put in new pipes. Bit annoying, bit extra work but um, what does worry me, what does concern me the most is that like now the protective pipe is broken uh, in numerous places and it doesn't feel quite right because like there is a reason why you have this like pipe in pipe system and that's to protect from like leakage or whatever so if the plastic pipe breaks with water in it it'll flow into the protective pipe so yeah it just doesn't feel quite right I'm gonna show you what they did yesterday um, so basically, we had to open up this part of the wall and the pipes are in here, but today I'm not going to think about it too much uh, because I'm going to paint instead. So uh, yeah, painting that wall. And marinating yesterday. Other than that, I mean... It's very close to finished.
decided to give the linseed oil paint uh, another go uh, and that is only on this wall which is um, where the chimney goes so because I'm not sure how like a regular plastic paint would behave when it gets warm because it does get really warm when I have a fire but I noticed it's quite lumpy like it's gotten really thick it had a cover of um, oil um, and now I'm trying to stir it around but it's still quite mm. yeah so I think I'm gonna try and sieve it This was the best thing I could find that could resemble something that I can mark out the holes uh, for the front with. So I'm just cutting them off because they're a bit long. I'm gonna have a second go at frosting the glass for the door, for the bathroom. Um, but I'm down in the basement because uh, this is the only kind of semi-warm place where they can dry and uh, yeah, where I feel fine to spray paint stuff uh, like this.
Yeah, sometimes things don't go my way, but um, this is probably the last days of snow. It's gonna get warm, warmer at least, in the next few days. So I'm just enjoying the snow and um, yeah. Now at least my bathroom is 99% done, despite it being a few weeks of hiccups and bumps in the road. Here is how it turned out. Some final fixes before I can show how it turned out. Wow. I'm glad it's done. There's obviously little details, uh, but let's not care about the details for now. It's just, yeah, be happy about the big picture. How about a shower now?